there, this is just a, a little quick update on the the zappers, the the, auto, the electronic flea combs. I did a quick little video on cat fleas, use, demonstrating this and what I thought the shortcomings were. If you watch the video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, I uh, I wasn't too happy. Um, so I looked for an alternative and I found this on eBay. I thought, well, at least it looks like a flipping comb. Um, and it looked sort of more substantial job. And it only cost a few quid. But it doesn't do what I want. Um, but to be fair to the item, I think it possibly has good potential to uh, perhaps dogs or longer head animals. It's got a far better comb, but they're all plastic. So I thought, well, how's this work? It runs on two AAA batteries, and there's a little off on here. You should hear it. Sorry about that, the camera didn't like it. You should hear it pulsing over the top of the traffic. Anyway, I thought, and, and you've got two combs with it. There's an even coarser comb. And they slide out, and he's only got one connection. So I thought, hang, hang on. How can you how can you zap something with only one connection? I mean, this is why birds sit on thousand volt overhead power lines. They don't get zapped, do they? They can't straddle their feet to the other lead. Um. Anyway, looking very close, there's a obviously a connection right up in the base here, and then looking carefully at the comb. There's a brass connection to one side. So this is obviously one pole. And when the comb is inserted, that's the other one. OK, but uh, so how has this one fell down? Well, my cat's got very short fur, fine fur, and this just isn't fine enough comb. So as I said earlier, it would probably suit a, a, a dog. Ideal perhaps for um, getting rid of ticks and the like. But anyway, I had it running for a minute, and it's ticking away, and I could smell ozone. And I thought, hello, if we've got ozone, we've got arcing somewhere. We've obviously got some pretty potent voltages going on. So let me just switch the lights off. Where have I put the item? Here we go. Can you see the flashes? That's taking place all up and down the the comb. So we've got quite a few thousand volts here. Put the lights back on again. Where's the switch? So this may not be suitable for the purpose I I wanted it for. There is a, a video on YouTube with some guy putting batteries in one of these and just switching it on and that's it. No explanation, nothing. And that's the only time I've seen one, but I suspect they're expensive. But I've looked all over it. There is no markings other than off on at the beginning. So it doesn't say much for manufacturers that uh, haven't got the courage to put their their name on an item. Anyway, the point of this is, whilst it may not be suitable for the purpose I bought it for initially, I think I can make use of this. Uh, I intend to use this on my anti-tamper device, come alarm on the boat. More on that later folks.